Hey guys, if you have a Red Cat Gen 8 and you drive it with a little spirit and enthusiasm, you probably changed out the front CVDs. If you have a Gen 8 and you haven't actually broken one yet, then you may want to pay attention because that's what I'm doing for this video. Changing out a CVD. Take a look. To do this job, you're going to need a four-way wrench, a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench, two millimeter hex wrench, and obviously the parts to replace it. Luckily for us, when the CVD breaks, it just breaks the outer part right there. You lose the pin, but the actual center part of the CVD stays in place. I'm going to take the top bolt off there, two millimeter hex. The uh, steering link bolt right there comes off, two millimeter hex with the uh, four-way wheel nut wrench. That bolt comes off, and at that point, we can remove the entire portal gearbox. With all the bolts out, you'll get this. There you go. There's your broken CVD. The rest of the axle just simply pulls right out of the housing. Got to take those three bolts out, which is a 1.5 millimeter hex. A lot of times with the bolts out, you can just kind of give this a few taps like that, and the whole assembly will come right out. If that doesn't happen, then you have to take off those six bolts right there. And they also use a 1.5 millimeter hex. With those off, you can just simply push it out from the other side. That's what breaks and it's really common, especially when you're turned hard one direction or the other and give it a lot of throttle. There's your new piece, nice and shiny. As far as reassembly goes, you just line that new pin up with the hole that's inside and you just simply put it right back together. It's super easy. Now the bearing slides over the pin and that's what holds the pin in place. Just like that, it's now ready for install. With the bolts back in, everything is pretty much locked into place. Now it just simply slides right back into the axle tubing. When you're doing this job, make sure you watch out for these little bushings in the top and the bottom. They will fall out and get lost rather easily. When you put the portal box back on, you may have to spin the input shaft just a little bit so the flats line up with the diff. And at that point, it's just simply bolt it right back the way you took it off. Simple and easy. With that relatively simple and cheap fix, you're ready to get back on the trail. I mean, fixed up now, ready to go. There are links in the description below on how you can buy some of these to stock up for that long trip that you got planned for your Gen 8. Thank you all for watching.